What I'm working on today is putting an outlet in this wall, and I'm going to show you how to do this where you're not going to have to rip open any drywall or repair any drywall. You'll just be able to put an old construction box in place and run your electric. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out where I want my outlet, and then I want to get some reference points to figure out kind of what's behind the wall and what I can use down in the basement to figure out where my wires can go up through the wall so I'm not really guessing. It's really nice because my basement's open so it's gonna make this pretty easy. Over by this room, there's a vent and then I also have a light switch. Down in the basement, here's my vent and that wire that goes up to that switch. And on the other side of that wall, there's a vent that goes into that bedroom and so I know right after this vent, there won't be a stud in the wall because these vents go in between studs. So after I get past this vent, I'll have about, I don't know, 12 or so inches to mess around with. And also another couple references. I have my washing machine there and that wire there goes upstairs. The reason I pointed a bunch of stuff out is because I know that if this is my vent and then that's my wire that goes up to that switch, and I kind of know where that is relative to where my stairs are. It's only gonna be about four feet where I come over and I end up by this vent. And then I can confirm that that's the correct vent where I have some of my other wires running. This is the outlet that powers our internet. And there's not a whole lot on this circuit, so I feel pretty confident about tying to this circuit. I'm not gonna overload it. So going from the outlet, coming down a little ways and ending up right about here. So it'll be a pretty short extension of the circuit. So what I'm going to do is come off about nine inches past that vent and I'm going to punch a hole right up kind of right in line with that vent and then right above that should be where the outlet is going to be. On the other side of this wall is that vent and if I go 55 inches from the casing over 55 inches and I work just to the right I'll make sure that I don't hit a stud. I usually put my outlets about 18 inches off from the floor but this outlet in here was here when we bought the house and it's pretty low to the floor but I want the height of both outlets to match so I'm just going to make my new outlet match the height of this outlet. I have my opening traced out for my old construction box. The wall is gonna sit on these little tabs here, so that line that I made is actually right above here. Once I push this through the wall, I'll be able to screw in this screw and these tabs will flip up and hold the box to the drywall and the plaster that's behind the drywall.
So I use that green tape to try to protect the wall and it also gives me a surface to trace on to where I won't wreck the wall and it doesn't really matter. Sometimes stuff like this happens anyway. This is a plaster wall though, so I guess I should have expected it. So now I have to get this wire over to here, but it's not really gonna be that bad. Usually you have to go drill a bunch of holes, but there's already a bunch of holes where knob and tube used to be that I've replaced. So I'll just be able to run it through those holes right over the box when I have to drill any new holes. I'm gonna make sure that I pull enough wire over to that junction box I'm gonna tie into. If it's short at all, I either have to restart, pull more wire, or I'd have to put in the junction box. I'm gonna get the power turned off to the circuit that I'm gonna be tying into. I'm gonna use my non-contact voltage tester to make sure the power's off. And what I'm gonna do is actually test the outlet because I know it's hot because our internet's working. So I'm gonna make sure that the voltage tester is working, go over to the panel box, turn off the power, come back, and then make sure that there's no voltage at this outlet. The wires in this junction box are super short, and so that's where those little connectors come into play. They work really well for this application. These wires from the new line are gonna get stripped back and just plugged into the connectors. So what I've done is use some extra wire just to put on some pigtails, and I'm just gonna go ahead and plug these into the connectors. I'm going to test out these outlets and I'm just going to go ahead and use my dummy tester instead of my voltmeter this time. Two yellow lights and no red light so this outlet's good. So that does it for this video. There's a lot of little things that I didn't go into detail on because they're in a bunch of our other electrical videos and so if you have any questions about any of those things in detail there's a lot of different electrical videos that should be able to help you out that we have out there. And we hope in the next couple weeks, we're gonna get our building completely done and we're gonna have a compilation video on that of just how we went through and did everything and a lot of the whys of why we did some of the things that we did and kind of how it's working out for us. So thank you for watching and watch for that compilation video. Thanks.